update what we've been up to, what baby's been up to. Yeah, this is a, a new way that we want to maybe put a put out a couple of extra videos, um, you know, talk to you guys because you know it's very busy now with the baby, yes. and now with having a baby, we've got to be a little bit innovative on how we're going to be able to how push we can out get you guys content. <laughs> yeah, push out content and put out useful information to help yeah. relationships and marriages out there. So. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on in mm -hmm. the first two months of baby Jordan's life, our son. Jordan is two months, like he's actually a little over two months now. So, of course, as you know, the first few weeks was just a whirlwind of just trying to get adjusted to life. and having a new baby and for me you know i was recovering it took six weeks um if you guys haven't seen a recent video that we posted we talk about my birth our birth story and how i had jordan um vaginally but natural no pain medication it was a very fast delivery I, she used to go by natural jet that was actually my my name yeah she used to go by natural <laughs> jet because she wore her hair natural and she still does yeah but now she got a whole nother it's level. just a whole new It's a whole now. other level to natural <laughs> jet because she she did the birth natural yep. and she did it in 30 minutes. It was 30 minutes. It was very 30 fast. 30 minutes of so labor. Thankful. It was incredible. She's a legend. <laughs> a legend of the game. Yeah, it was very fast. So I'm very thankful about that. Um, it's funny because y'all can see me. So I probably see Jordan in the background now. He's getting a little sleepy. Um, but yeah, it was a fast delivery. And then after that, just recovering for six weeks and during that six weeks also, it was a learning curve for us. We were trying to get to know baby. The baby was getting to know us. And, you know, we were all learning each other's habits and quirks and things like that. Um, so it was just a lot to take in in the beginning. But we were very fortunate that we had family in town to visit, to help us out and, you know, make sure we were hanging in there. Yeah, so that Jen's, was good. Jen's mom actually was there the night of the birth. Uh, wasn't able to come actually in the delivery room, but she was the, there the next morning. Yeah. Um, so we had the baby at uh, 12 44 a.m. in the morning. So she was there by 7 a.m. as soon as we woke up. So, I mean, it was just amazing to have family there. Um, and that, if you know, I mean, like we're here in Miami, we're originally from the DMV area. So, you know, when we moved down here seven years ago, we, we came down here, it was just us two. Yeah. And um, so we don't really have too much family down here. So, you we know, don't have we, any family yeah, here. we don't have any family down here. So, um, you know, with this new transition of life that we're doing, um, it's so important to have family around and, and, yeah. and friends and, and loved ones that really can support you through this new chapter of life. So um, to have uh, her mom come down and then um, three of your sisters in the yeah. next couple of weeks. I mean, it was just beautiful. So, um, and you know, like we're we're really enjoying this process of new parenthood. He's just such a sweet, happy baby. It makes it all worth it. The sleepless nights. Um, yeah. But so, now that he's getting older, it's getting better because he's you know he's being able to sleep through the nights longer. Yeah. Um, he's had his two months vaccination shot, so he's good and healthy and making sure his body is nice and strong to fight all these little germs out here. Right. So what would you say out of these first two months of having our baby boy, what do you think is the hardest thing so far? And it could be anything regarding uh, your own body, um, the baby, mm -hmm. uh, trying to keep up with the relationship and the marriage, mm -hmm. um, you know, just throwing some things yeah. out there. But what, what would you say is the what has toughest, been like challenge, the, the the toughest? Ch most challenging thing? I would say it's a couple things. Um, for sure, the, I would say the sleep deprivation, like just getting, going from being able to sleep eight hours or more, especially in the last trimester of pregnancy to, you know, nowadays only getting like three, four hours of sleep and that's on like a good day. Yeah. Um, that was definitely really hard in the beginning and it some days it's still very hard. And I'm thankful because I'm on maternity leave that I can nap throughout the day and stuff like that if I'm t extremely tired or nap when he naps. But, when it's time for me to go back to work, return to work, I know that's going to be more challenging. Um, yeah. But I would say the sleep deprivation is one. Um, but the good thing is that that gets easier. And then two, just trying to juggle everything as far as like showing up as a parent, you know, showing up in my marriage, showing up as a friend, and then showing up for myself, you know, in, in no particular order or whatever. But just, 
you know, showing up in all of those areas. And it's hard when you have a newborn because I feel like a lot of my time is just dedicated to him. Yeah. And other areas tend to lack because of that, you know. Like, I still want to be present in our marriage. Uh -huh. I still want to show up for myself, you know, um, because a healthy me is important in order to show up in other areas. But um, oftentimes I find me putting myself to the back burner, putting our marriage to the back burner. And even friends to the back burner because I'm so, you know, we're so focused on Jordan. Because these first few months are so crucial, you know, we're learning everything and it's just been all about him. And so I think that's been tough just trying to, you know, find that balance. But that's, I hope, you know, with time it will get better. Yeah, well, that's a very interesting point. And I mean, I'm glad that you're being candid with that as well. Um, mm -hmm. I would definitely second the, the um, sleep deprivation. Yeah. Um, but I would say for you, it's it's just different. Like you, you're breastfeeding as well. So you have to get up every two hours to, mm -hmm. to breastfeed um, or to pump. Yeah. And I don't really have to do that. So I can definitely see from your standpoint, it's way harder than it is for me. Um, and, and just women in general have it yeah. way tougher than, than the guys do. Yeah. I try to be there as much as possible um, and, and support and be there you know as a present father and i am a present father mm -hmm. but just hormonally uh and naturally there's things that are happening with you and that you have to do to to provide for our baby that i don't necessarily have to and that makes it even tougher for you and for just women in, in, in the relationship yeah um so i definitely see where you're coming from with the sleep dep deprivation because i have it i have it myself but mm -hmm. you have it even worse and i know you do mm -hmm. um, yeah so what about you what what would you say that you, the most challenging thing has been the first you know two months of jordan's life so far okay well number one it was it's definitely the sleep the sleep deprivation but i feel like that's gotten better over like the first month was tough was the toughest actually the first two weeks were like it was like dang i think because he was making gonna... a lot of sounds yes. and this, this, and that. the um, boy was just moaning and groaning in his sleep i mean the active sleep i didn't even know what active sleep was before having a baby but oh, i know what it is now and if you have a baby you will know what it is as well yeah uh so those first two weeks three weeks it was like oh my god like you're just every little sound you're getting up because you're like is he okay and you're also in that stage of like being a new parent making sure like is he is he breathing like right. is, you know is he in a position where he can you know yeah, like he's comfortable he's comfortable like, you know. and all that stuff mm -hmm. um but besides the sleep deprivation i would say adjusting to being a father you know yeah. being a father but also being a present husband as well um mm -hmm. And juggling all of that um, and then also just making sure I'm helping and being as supportive as I possibly can be to you um, because I know that you have a lot on your plate and then you know I don't want to have so much responsibility put on you that you feel that it's unbearable or right. just way overwhelming and, and there's going to be overwhelming parts we've there's been part uh times where we're both overwhelmed yeah um and i'm trying to alleviate that pressure for the both of us um but also for you you right. know because i know that you are you're going through ch uh, changes hormonally as well but then just the overall fact of you know everything that is changing and evolving with yeah. this new uh, stage of life like there's just a lot of things that are can be overwhelming so i'm trying to help you and support you and be there for you emotionally and uh, empathize with you as much as i possibly can and uh that support can be challenging sometimes because i'm still learning myself yeah i'm still learning how to deal with this new uh new stage of being a parent and right. being a, a father to in, in this relationship yeah like i'm it's not just me and you anymore now it's it's me you and jordan yeah. and what's the, what's best for us three what's best, yeah, for, what's best for us what's, three. what's best for for jen and jordan mm -hmm. yeah so true it's like just trying to now trying to juggle like you know being a decision maker for a family of three not right. just a family of two it's, it's it, it has its peaks and valleys when you know when it comes to trying to juggle that and navigate that and i will say you know like you said there are times when it's really challenging but make what makes it worth it is that now he's at an age where 
he's starting to, he's like vocal. He's not, yeah. he can't verbalize really anything, but he's making a lot of sounds. Yeah. And he's smiling a lot and you can see like his personality. He's responsive. Yeah. And when you have like a tough night, but then you just see him like, it'd be three in the morning and I'm so tired. But then he looks at me, he's like, ah. And yeah. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> it's all good, baby. It is all good. It like, really is. He, just... He's so innocent. And yeah. I, I just have to re like remind myself when it gets a little frustrating that he is totally reliant on us. Like he right. cannot do anything. He's right. totally reliant on us and he's innocent in this situation. So, right. you know, I have to just give the whole situation grace mm -hmm. and most importantly, like give ourselves grace and just be patient. Like, I think that's the biggest thing is understanding that patience. it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of selflessness. And there he is Speaking right now. Speaking Hi, of, baby. he's starting to wake up. It's okay. He's like, I'm getting hungry. It's time for him to eat. Uh, Speaking of patience, I definitely want to touch on this. I'm just so proud of the patience that Jen has exhibited over these first two months. I mean, like, this is so new to her as well. But, like, I've just seen the level of patience that she has. And it's really inspiring, actually, because I'm like, man, I want to, I want to be that patient. Because I'm not as patient as she is. So sometimes I get a little bit more frustrated if he's crying for a long time. And I'm like, what, what's wrong? Like, what's what's the deal like how can i how can i stop you from crying how can i right. help you and, and make you feel better mm -hmm. um, but sometimes a baby just cries just to cry yeah. um or you know you're not tending to the exact need that he needs at that and the time the only way he can express himself is by crying like they right. can't you know verbalize how they're feeling they can't you know crying is their first language and yeah. so so i mean overall i would say that i am mm -hmm. i'm i'm patient but i'm not as patient as jen and uh, that's something that I'm still trying to learn and, and, and grow into um, in, in this new role. So I would say that's also um, another challenge yeah. that I have as well. Um, but learning on the fly, and that's the that's the beauty of parenthood. That's yeah. the beauty of this of, of starting a new chapter and mm -hmm. finding and flipping the page and and writing the ink as you go. Yeah, you know. But I will say the time people say like cherish each moment because it goes by so fast and it does. I can't, but like, I still can't believe he's over two months now. Like no, time does fly. I feel like time is flying by and I'm just so grateful that I'm in a position and we're in a position um, that I can, you know, be on maternity leave and, you mm -hmm. know, spend these first few bunks with him and getting to know him. And I, I hope and pray that things work out where, you know, we have the flexibility work-wise to still, be able to spend as much time with him as possible yeah. um but just seeing him reach like miles of milestones mm -hmm. and lift his neck up and you know be responsive and smile or and the eye tracking the now. eye tracking he's doing that now um it's been great him you know when we hold him he's locking his legs and like he wants to stand up he's such a strong little baby <laughs> he really is he's such a strong little meatball uh, little potato yeah but mm -hmm. overall it's it's been great yeah. um and there's so much fear or not even fear there's so much anxiety or, or 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 pressure like when you those last couple of weeks or months going knowing that you're about to uh, be a, a parent mm -hmm. but then when you have the child there's something that just naturally comes over you that it says okay this is what i need to do this is how i need to be yeah. this is how this is the responsibility that I need to do. Yeah. And uh, he's starting to cry he's now. He's so hungry. It's okay, baby. We're going to cut this video. Yeah, with that said, we're just going to cut it short. We wanted to give you guys a life update because uh -huh. um, we wanted to keep the content fresh and new and updated. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. We we're going to sign, sign off and go tend to Jordan. Yes. Okay. So, my name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is the Yam Horse. Bye, everyone. And remember to find joy in the journey. Conversations like this, I think, are super important because as new parents, we have to really evaluate ourselves and us as a couple.